And I've got another one. What about Jesus' own family? Do you ever remember his family? I'm talking about his brothers now, not his mother. His own brothers did not believe in him during Jesus' lifetime, did they? What were they like? Mark 3, 21. Just listen. You don't have to turn there. When his family heard about this, Jesus and his claims that he was God, they went to take charge of him, for they said, he is out of his mind. Mark 3, 21. John 7, 3 through 5. Jesus' brothers said to Jesus, you ought to leave here and go to Judea. And they said this tongue-in-cheek, so your disciples may see the miracles that you do. No one who wants to become a public figure acts in secret. Why did they want Jesus to go up to this area and do miracles? Since you are doing these things, show yourselves to the world. And it says, for even his own brothers did not believe in him. Why did they want him to go up there? They were trying to goad him into a death trap. If he showed up at the Feast of Tabernacles in Jerusalem, they thought that the authorities would take him and kill him. And so they were saying, Jesus, why don't you go on up to Jerusalem and do a few miracles up there and make a few statements up there? And they would have been rid of him. Those were his brothers. Nice family, huh? Now, we don't hear very much about Jesus' brothers until Acts chapter 14. But surprise, surprise, these fellows that did not believe in Jesus and actually tried to kill him off show up in Acts chapter 1, verse 14, where it says, they all joined together constantly in prayer, talking about the first Christians, along with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and, goodness sakes alive, his brothers. What were they doing there? These guys that tried to kill him off didn't believe in him. Why were they there right before Pentecost? In Galatians chapter 1, verse 19, Paul reports that when he visited, visited Jerusalem three years after his conversion, he did not see any of the other apostles except James, the Lord's brother, which seems to imply that James was now an apostle. The Jewish historian Josephus records that the Jews illegally and brutally stoned James to death for what? For his faith in Jesus Christ sometime around 60 A.D. In 1 Corinthians 9, 5, Paul mentions not only James, but Jesus' other brothers came, became believers. He says, we, do we not have the right to be accompanied by a wife as the other apostles and what? And the brothers of the Lord? And Cephas? These guys got converted. What changed his own brother's from not believing in him to becoming apostles that went out and got killed for their brother. Paul says, in a nutshell, in 1 Corinthians 15, 7, the reason why they got converted. After Jesus was seen to be murdered on a cross and crucified in front of all Jerusalem, after he was put into the grave, after he arose from the dead, after he started appearing to different ones, Paul makes this little crisp statement in 1 Corinthians 15, 7, then he appeared to James. That must have been a meeting. How would you like to see your dead brother come back and say, I'm God, here I am. There's nothing else that you can attribute to these brothers of Jesus why they would have changed except what Paul said. They saw him after he arose from the dead and they went out and served him and they got martyred for doing it. 